Well, I think it allows us to craft a message that resonates as we begin to socialize this concept uh, as a standard across training development within the agency and within our partnerships. Uh, and we, uh, this is the first training summit, so we'll be able to see what worked, what didn't work, tweak the message so that as we begin to get into the, the other realms of managers we're dealing with or other partners across our working groups, uh, we can give them the clear message that works, that resonates with their needs so that they can clearly understand it. I think we found some things that work in this summit. We found some things that maybe we need to tweak so that when we try to create that message and have that that clear understanding and the shared definitions, um, I think that process will work. Well, it really hits home to the points that we're trying to make as we drive FISMA forward, um, recognizing that it's an integrated process. We have to include our states and our locals. So really trying to make it more standardized. It's going to be important that we drive consistent decision making, whether it's FDA or the state. So it really, the foundational piece is what we are espousing as part of our FISMA um, mandates or requirements. So this summit is extremely beneficial to DOD, Department of Defense, and the organization from the perspective that we will be able to leverage a lot of the knowledge and a lot of resources that are being generated by this group. And it also provides for some commonality in language and interpretation of new regulations. And so we're looking for more consistency and harmonization uh, between the two agencies. I've been part of the working group that's been working on the competencies at the in the gen eds and I have brought with me one of my colleagues who is in the operations branch in the inspectorate and that's who everything that's where all the training will benefit so for me to have this opportunity to get him up to speed was perfect and uh, I would have liked to have brought more of my colleagues so I think it's really an eye opener for us and I think the discussions that we just had um, are, um, will help the whole entire field of training gain credibility and will be um, uh, a standard that we can, can strive towards. I think it's gone fairly well. You know, getting 80 people together, trying to get them to do anything in an organized manner is a challenge, so it's gone well. <laughs> Um, it's, it's very helpful for me. I'm one of the co-leads for the FISMA training work group and we're working on the PC regulator training. So just understanding kind of the basis for developing the curriculum, the courses, all the various requirements. I found it very interesting about the uh, trainer qualifications. I think that will be very helpful for us. I think uh, some of the advantages are uh, being able to network, exchange ideas, um, kind of gauge where the other partners and, and have a diversity of influence or, or, or input. And so I think that helps because anytime you're working on producing a product and coming out with an end product, you want some sort of diversity and you want some interagency uh, feedback and input. Uh, it is, it's good to get a uh, overview of the direction we're headed in terms of establishing a and knowing that there is a strategy for uh, meeting the training needs, especially in light of New regulations coming down the pike. Uh, I think it's good to know that there's some strategic thinking about it and getting input from from others outside the agency is good. Um, I think it's good for us because it shows us how we fit in with the larger food safety culture. So not just FDA, but with state, with local, with tribal, with universities and how we can all play off of each other and not have to do it all ourselves. So the, what we're really hoping for to get out of this is that other people who haven't been exposed will see the real benefit and the way that it will help everybody partner. So that's the real benefit of the summit for me. Well, I think it's a great way to actually um, network and then establish consistency, maybe clear up some confusing terms. If you're using one term and it means A, you know, and another person's using an identical term, but to them it means A plus one. A good way to clear things up. The big takeaway is that uh, going down this path will allow a very consistent uh, development of training that we can share and that that will make everything 
you know, uh, more effective, more efficient, and yeah, beneficial to everyone. Learning new terminology and realizing that um, there is a process and um, adopting that process across the board, regardless of you know where you are coming from, um, I think is really what I'm taking away from this meeting. Um, I think it goes with that same thing. I think that collaboration and buy-in are some of the biggest things that we can get out of this so that we're all developing to the same standards and we're all paying attention to what each other has so that we can maximize our collective resources. I'm enjoying myself. I'm meeting a lot of people, making some good contacts. Uh, to get different perspectives, I think with having CDC, USDA, the states, the various stakeholders here to share these ideas and challenges, as one of the gentlemen from Canada said, there's definitely going to be challenges, so it's helpful to hear those as well. Of course I'll come back. Uh, I think it's an important piece to, to set the stage, uh, to have a continued uh, interaction with the, the people in this summit. Uh, and bring new partners into it as we continue to build the collaboration. So yes, I would, uh, I'd come back next year, sure. I would definitely come back next year. I'm here. I'm FDA. I don't have a say in the matter. <laughs> She'll be back.